understand. Let us pray, dear sisters and brothers, that this sacrifice may be acceptable to the Lord, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this Easter time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death, and by rising, he restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, Remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jesse, our Bishop, all the clergy and all God's people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. 
We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. With joy in our hearts, we call on God our Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our own hearts, so that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. With joy in our hearts we now share with one another the peace of the risen Lord. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My dear sisters and brothers, this is Jesus, our Lord, who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed we are, for we are invited to receive him. Lord, Lord I am Lord, not Lord, worthy Lord, that you should Lord, enter Lord, under my roof, but, but only say the, say the word, word and my soul, my soul shall, shall be healed. Oh. 
for an orderly receiving of Holy Communion by Rose, please allow our ushers to guide you.
Please Let stand. us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and in our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In behalf of the entire Feast Bellevue AM family, let us thank our Mass Presider, Reverend Father Dave Dominguez, for celebrating the Holy Eucharist with us. Were you blessed? Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our loving God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, our celebration is ended. Let us go in the peace of the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Praise the Lord. Christ.